Hey guys, it's Kraus and welcome everybody to Farm Manager 2018. So a few days ago, I did like one of those first look videos of this game and I had a blast, like <laughs> super addictive. So I kind of thought, hey, let's do a little mini series and let's see what this game has to offer, right? So just sit back, relax and enjoy. We're going to go back to free mode. We're going to start completely new. We're going to call this farm, well, Kerala's farm, because that is how creative we are a farm seed you know i'm not sure that matters but let's do one two three four five six seven eight and nine just in case anybody would want to be like oh that's an amazing seed uh medium and 750 yeah difficulty medium cash 750 i think previous one we had two million let's do 750 and do apply okay so this is the terrain on the seed one two three four five six seven eight and nine and i think it does change a little bit because i'm not sure the previous map had uh, had a lake on it so maybe we can buy that land and kind of build around it. That would be kind of sleek. Uh, but anyhow, you know what? Previous episode, we did start off by building something. And that was some of the houses for employees and whatnot. So you know what? Just to get some extra progression, let me just do this quickly. And I'm going to be right back with you guys. Going to build one and maybe, maybe two hereabouts. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So what do we have? We have two houses for the permanent workers and we have one for the seasonal ones. So let's get to it. Like what I'm thinking, like previous episode we went for what? What was it? Cows? Cows and honey. I guess at the end of the day, that is not a bad outcome. Like cows and honey? Honey is pretty, pretty much like, you know, like you, you build a honey or the beekeeper house and, and that's pretty much it. They don't really require much than that. And some beehives, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah. I kind of forgot. Can I squeeze in my house over here in the far end? Like this kind of perfect fit let's do it so we're gonna have my house over here we're gonna have this here we're gonna plant some trees and uh, just do some bushes I'm, I'm gonna be using the dirt roads because for some reason i waste a lot of cash on building roads so we're gonna have hmm gonna have this uh first things first let me see here can we squeeze in like we can either go beekeepers how big is the chicken coop could even squeeze in some chicken coops around here but they will require some food as well, right? Indeed they do. Okay, let's start out with doing this. We're going to do our road here. We're going to squeeze in uh, at least one cow shed like this. Yeah, okay. Then we're going to surround this with beautiful bushes because, I don't know, like... Because of smells, I don't think the bush is gonna, <laughs> gonna stop the smells, I guess. But uh, it's gonna look more beautiful, because otherwise it's gonna be like going out from our house and seeing the cows straight away. Now we can kind of divide it up with some bushes in between. And you might be like, it does, it's a game crowds at the end of the day. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of a game, right? But we just have to envision this. So it's something. And I don't know. I can't describe why this is addictive, okay? I just enjoy playing games. Tycoon games in general, all right? I've always done that. Even since, since the good old days, like the Amiga days. It's tycoon game, manager games and whatnot. It's just enjoyable. It's, I don't know why it, it is. Then we're going to have a double road here. Because what we could do here is maybe place a warehouse of this street. So everything we produce is going to be picked up around this edge over here, this this street. Okay, my mini golf, <laughs> mini golf course house is up and running. I wish we could kind of can upgrade that, but it's 400,000 bucks, I think it was, from the previous episode. And I can't afford that whatsoever. Warehouse. So we're going to have cows, right? We're going to have cows. So they would need one of those barn buildings, because that is going to be something which you're going to uh, store the, the grass in, or hay. Uh, decisions. I hate making decisions, right? But let's do this. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be grid patterns all over the place. But can I squeeze in this here now? Yes, I can. Okay, let's just poop it down. In the back stages, what we could have is either this warehouse, small warehouse. Um, that is a negative, sir. It's not gonna squeeze in. Okay, then we're gonna have maybe the maneuver uh, manure storage. But just imagine the smells, Kerales. Yes. What can you do? You need that, right? Just what it fills in later, later on. And I mean, the cow will produce manure, so the manure will go into this building, and everything's gonna be right and dandy perfect. That's gonna be, that's gonna be the, the cow section of, of, the, of the farm. So let's do one, and a thin road maybe, and then one more. It's gonna be a little bit on the expensive side. How much is that even? 
Like, it's not... It's a 10k each, right? But then we need to buy the cows. Maybe we can breed them. Uh, but it's gonna take a while until, like, I mean, the babies grow up and start producing milk, right? But I just don't know how this works. I'm not a good farmer. I just love playing video games, all right? Okay, so that is done. Did we get some money for that? Hire an employee. Collect two pumpkins? I don't even have pumpkins. House for permanent employees? I just built one of those. Build more? Grow seven chickens? How do you even grow a chicken? Grow cows? How do you even grow a cow? I don't know. What employees we can, I guess we can hire because now we have the houses up already and stuff. Let's go here and let's see if anybody's good with cows. We have a beekeeper for three out of five, so we're gonna build some of those. So let's just add one of those guys. Has he seal? Four out of five on cow department. Has he? Welcome. To the Corrales farm. Ooh, Nathaniel. Vaca over here. Five out of five on machines. You know what? In case he disappears. Hobart. Super good with bees. Keaton. Five out of five on cows. I guess they do cost more money, right? Sean. Cold. Four out of five. Dude, what the crap? This is... We get the jackpot, everybody. I like my trees, okay? Trees are beautiful. That is maybe just too small for this section. Let's do... Let's do one of those here. And let's do one of those here. Can it? Can we? Please can. Yes. That is not too shabby. See? See how much that transformed the farm? Straight away. It just looks amazing. So how much is the cows? Either we buy six cows for each cow shed. But that is going to be on the expensive side. But let's do that. So six on that. Hopefully there's going to be produce enough milk for us to kind of give, well, get the return back. Before the cows die. <laughs> Knowing me, they will die. <laughs> they will die masses. Uh, caregiver, has he? Welcome. And buy some cows for this as well. Oh, has the cows arrived? I, I, heard, I hear the cows. I hear the cows coming. There they go. There are six beautiful cows. And you're mine now. The problem is, let's just go here. Let's get the grass on the hot, menu, hot bar menu over here. Let's get the milk. And I guess honey and maybe chickens. Because I think that's what I'm going to focus on in today's episode at least. So, uh, meanwhile, were they doing their thing? Did we choose a person here? No, we did not. So who's remaining on the cow? Francesca? You get in here and buy some cows on this as well. So 480 bucks remaining. 480,000 bucks remaining. That's not brilliant, Corral. It's not. <laughs> but it is what it is. And here. Hmm. Perfect. Done it. So we're going to have a little beekeeper department over here. The cows have arrived. How are we doing on the grass? We need to keep track so we don't kind of like run low on that. Because if we do, cows are going to die. Cows definitely going to die. Oh, contract failed. I don't care about any pumpkins or whatever you're throwing at me, okay? Because I'm building stuff. Uh, beekeeper housing. So what if I would put one, two, and then go from the other side and put one and two? <laughs> That's kind of a perfect squiz, I guess. Why are you people not using the roads? I've made beautiful roads around here and it's like, hey, no. Oh, crap, I forgot about something. That is uh, the warehouse building. Because without that warehouse building, we can't really sell anything now, can we? Let's see, where do we squeeze it in? Like, m most logical way would be having this kind of off the main street. But let's just squeeze it in here. And this is just kind of so we can sell stuff. Otherwise, it's going to be terrible, terrible disaster for us. Okay, they're done. Uh, caregiver, Hobart. Caregiver, I guess we could just autofill that. But it let's not. Choose caregiver. Tiffany. And then the last one was who? Cristobal. Cristobal, welcome to the team. Now we just need to buy tons of those beehives. Oh, okay. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, they're building that. Perfect. Uh, beehives. How do we squeeze in? Like, let me see. If I would place one here, can I just place... It's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze now, isn't it? It's going to be looking ridiculous. And I think it's 10 per each beehive or bee house. Perfect. Take a peek at all of those. 
I guess some 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 beautiful well just because we can. Uh, what does it actually do? Does it, have, does it have a purpose or is it just for the creation? The wells allows to increase access to water for irrigation. All right, you know what? I don't think we need that, but for the creation purposes over here, it's gonna be beautiful. It does have a three bucks per month upkeep, but that is not much. Could be in some trees here. Just like that! And man, look at this! They even get dressed for success! There's so many bees. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. Let me see here, do they fly on the road as well or they cannot keep them inside? Because having all the cars driving back, back and forth on this main street is gonna be a disaster. They're gonna be splashing on the, wind, on the windshields. But I don't think... Nah, you're good. Dude, you're inside of the beehive or a beehouse. Beehive. Man, this is beautiful. So we've already obtained 85 milk and still no honey. But honey, honey is gonna happen. Okay, believe. We also would need machines. But I'm gonna feel like, should we really go into that already? Oh, look at that. Manure is being pooped in here. Literally speaking. Everybody's just carrying honey back and forth. Can I go inside? Can, can I see inside? No. I see a little bit. Something is going on. Something shady is going on. Still have a lot of grass. That is perfect. Milk, however. And I think what we could do with the milk, like if we're going to sell, right? It has an expiration date, 11 the 6th, that is June. So it lasts for like two more weeks about. But I can go like all in here and sell it. I can also auto trade that. But let's just do this for the moment. Let's just sell this. The honey, we don't have much of it, but let's just sell everything we can. Uh, hello? Okay, we already did, I guess. Perfect. <laughs> I think, at least. I don't know what happened. But that is our first money. So money in the bank. There we go. Bam. So everybody here should have five out of five in the beekeeping department. We're going to see if that actually boosts the, the income. I like my little farm. Say what you want. It's a beautiful farm. It's a beautiful day. Let's go to sell. Should we be starting auto trading stuff? I'm a little bit afraid doing that. I'm not really sure how this operates. So if I would go to auto trade and say cow's milk, I click this. Set the amount. Okay, set the fixed amount of products. Products sold uh, cyclically. Cyc Do you know what I mean, right? Cyclically. So basically, they can buy twice a month and buy. Let's say it would go. 500, maybe too, too little of it, but we'll see. So that's going to be 500. Let's do 200 on the honey. Okay, and let's speed this up. Let's see what happens if they actually go and tr auto trade that. Well, twice a month, right? Okay, somebody's coming by here with stuff. 800. Man, am I buying this? No. Am I buying that or am I selling that? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, stop it for a moment. Low amount of food in animal building? You gotta be kidding me. Who's responsible for this? Francesca! I just upgraded you. You're killing my animals, Francesca. Did she... Which you would be bring in? Francesca! She put in some manure over here. And now she's going home. The animal's gonna die over here because of Francesca. Francesca, you had poor decision making over here. Alright, I'm a little bit scared. 1,000 milk and expiration date on that is gonna be terrible. So let's go and auto -se uh, manually sell this milk. 24th G... Okay, let's just go all in. 4,000 bucks! Yes, please. Uh, honey... And let's go all in honey. 2,500 bucks. I be darned. We are creating a money maker over here, everybody. But Francesca is neglecting the animals. Does she live too far away from it, maybe? Not sure what is going on. Is that Francesca coming? Francesca? Come on, Francesca. Give them food. Okay, she did bring some grass. Not much of grass, however, but she does bring a little bit. Okay, 
Well, let's continue. The weather's a little bit crap. Uh, so what do I want to do? Man, I kind of want to go into fields. I guess. Fields would be kind of kind of nice. Should we... Should we go in? Okay, let's say this is going to be the main roads throughout the farms, right? Those two roads over here is going to be the main roads. So we can either build like a big field over here. How big? Should we just build off this, the main streets? How big is the biggest? The 50 on 50, on 50. That is 0 0.25 hectare of field. Do it. Do it or not do it. Do it. Huh. And then what? Then we need to plow, we need to sow. We need a lot of machines. We can either go by hand, but having a, well, maybe seasonal workers. It's gonna be terrible. It is gonna be terrible. Okay, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's do parking lots. Can I do two of this? Okay, let's do one here. And let's do one on the other side. It's going to be semi-convenient because it's kind of like in the middle of all of everything, right? Then we can have a road just here in the back stages. They're going to be built up. We're going to buy some machines. We're going to see if we can cultivate and make uh, sow some grass on this. Holy crap. Pause it for a moment. What happened to our grass? Okay. I don't get it. Account history. Grass. We sold the grass! Who? Why? No! <laughs> this is terrible! Why did we sell? I can sell the honey, I guess. But what happened to the grass? Why did we sell it? Uh, let's buy, like what? 2,500? Buy. Somebody's selling my grass! Okay, that was a little bit strange. So, let's buy some. We're going to buy a tractor to begin with. We're going to have the tractor. Let's buy 326. The tractor costs 45. Let's buy one tractor. We're going to have it on a... Well, did we park it? Did we park it? I think we parked it over here. Did we buy it? I don't think we bought it. Okay, let's just do this. Buy and please put it here. Then what do we need? We need something for plowing. We need something for cultivating. Something for fertilizing, something for sowing, something for watering, something for spraying, some holy crap. This is gonna be this is gonna be expensive. But first let's do a plow, right? So let's buy a plow. Uh buy please. Yes, put it here. We are also gonna buy something for cultivating. So buy this one over here, please do. We're gonna buy something for fertilizing, and I think manure spreader is gonna be the thing we go for, right? Uh fertilizing spreader or manure. Manure. Or slurry tank. Ma no, manure. Manure. Let's go manure. And then that should be the first steps, right? Boom, boom, boom. Then we need something for seeding. So cedars. What do we have? Uh, sowers and planters are going to be, right? Planter, precision cedar. 6,000 bucks. But for pumpkins? No. Planter. No. Seed, seed drill. I guess this one over here. Because that's going to be for grass and whatnot, right? grass and i don't know what that, that that is if that is i don't know let's go like this i'm gonna see what happens the tractor is arriving at least so that's kind of perfect we do have one person which has been working for the on the farm for quite a bit of time and uh he has not really been occupied with anything so let's go to this place i'm gonna do plowing some machines tractor uh okay that has not arrived yet, i guess so we can't okay speed is up Okay, the crappy thing is that somebody, somebody is selling my grass. Uh, train any worker to level 5 and get 1,000 bucks. Well, that's kind of like a, a, a nice thing to do, I guess, but not now. Because I'm going to go machines. Tractor on this, plow, and let's go Nathaniel. Accept. And now is the moment when I kind of wish what we could do is kind of like queue up uh, some, some stuff on the farm. But I don't think that is possible. Can we squeeze in? Let me see here. Okay, stuff is happening. Oh, behold! The first step is is being 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 done. Also, what I want to buy 
let me just go here. Um, let me buy some chemical fertilizer. Uh, oh, it's lupin seed. Okay, it's lupin. Uh, I'm gonna buy some grass. Grass seeds. Let's buy... Oh, it's quite expensive, however. One, two... I'm actually wondering if the rain ha helps with soil humidity. It kind of should, it, it feels like, because obviously rain. But I don't, I don't know. One of animals just died. Well, how unfortunate. Why are we dying over here? Auto manage the food. 100%. 100% into the grass. Auto manage. Yeah, it cannot, the, the cow diet in here sucks tremendously, okay? Okay, buy one more, I guess. Maybe it's just because, like, you know, they die of age? But how? I mean, they, they've been here a few months. I kind of feel tricked by the guy who's selling me the cows, because I mean, a lifespan of one month? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But I guess it is what it is. We just have to deal with that. Sell. Manually sell. Sell. Man, the honey's a complete money maker. Okay, so so far we have not sold any grass. And that that is okay. Because for some reason the auto trader sold the grass as well and kind of peed me off a little bit. Uh, okay, now we need to do, choose this. Manure. Do we have enough manure for this? No, we don't. You need 250 kilos. We do have so many cows. Can I skip the fertilizing? Maybe just for this year. Grass, machines. This, this, and Nathaniel. Out you go. Okay, so we're gonna skip the... We're gonna skip... One of the animals died again. Okay. Is this the lifespan of the, of the animals? Like the, the green bar? The, the, is that like their health? Because if that is the case, that kind of sucks. Because that means, like, look at those. There's going to be six animals dying here. Do you have, do you even have food? You have food in masses. So it's not the food. It's not a food situation. They've got food as well. Do you need water or something? Have I missed something? <laughs> Maybe I have. Maybe they do need water. But that is just for... That should not be needed for those guys. I even don't know. Like, it kind of feels like they should be not be needing water, okay? But just in case they do need water. Ah, you know what? It's not that expensive. Just in case I've been doing something tremendously wrong. Let's just put two of those guys over here. But it should not be that bad. It just shouldn't. Are we sewing over here, Nathaniel? Indeed we are. It's growing, everybody. So now the soil humidity. Like, it's it's fairly good, right? So I don't think we need to water this, this yet. The growing season in 39 days. This is going to be done. 48 days. Okay, so I see. Then we need to harvest that. Okay, so this is going to just be grass. So let's just think about this. What do we need for grass? I guess the mower is used for grass, right? So buy a mower. Parking over here. Do we need anything else to collect the grass? Because the mowing is going to be mowing the grass, right? So that's going to be mowed, round press, self-reloading trailers, straw ba bales. I don't think we need that. Windrower, what is that? Is that kind of like to... Sp Windrower is used to ra uh, raking grass, which is later easy to collect. Okay, so we need one of those as well. <laughs> Just see my money going bye-bye. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. We've got this. We got everything under control, pretty much. Also, you know what? Let me just see here. Just, just before we say goodbyes, would that be a thing? Can I? Would I be able to squeeze in? Let's see here. Uh, one, two, three. That is actually a perfect squeeze in. <laughs> perfect squeeze in. It's a perfect fit for those. So we need to have something in those guys, right? We're gonna buy the outer watering upgrades. Yes, we do. As you can see, that kind of changes into the like the sprinkler systems inside of it. So let's just do those and do this and do that. We will also hire some seasonal workers to to maintain those buildings. I'm gonna place some more here on the back, and we can have that kind of like something which 
It's gonna boost our income during during winter times. Can I place a road here? No, what? Not bad. Look at our farm. Should we be proud? I think we should. Everybody, uh, this game is uh, addictive. Uh, indeed, it is. Can I place stuff in here? Yeah. It's definitely addictive. How are we looking on this? Is that is that Nathaniel just standing looking at his crops? Uh, who's you? Nathaniel. Yeah, look at that. He's watching the grass grow. There's so many weeds in my field. Didn't even ask for weeds. Okay. Has my thing arrived? Uh, choose this. Weed spray. Okay, we have got some weed spray, everybody. So let's go into this. Uh, machines. Choose the anti-weeder. And which is needed for this by machines is a sprayer. 20,000 bucks? I guess. I guess we need to do that, everybody. But 20,000 is a little bit on the hefty side, okay? Let me see here. Nathaniel. Is it arriving in the horizon? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to just keep this up opened. So that means he's going to be out weeding. Man, that is sleek. I kind of wish the fields were a little bit bigger. Like 50 or 50 tiles. It feels a little bit on the small side. Maybe that's kind of like an upgrade. Don't do, don't do the road. Don't waste the anti-weed spray. Will that disappear now when he kind of anti-weeded it? Hopefully it will. What, if, what the crap am I doing wrong? Why are my animals just dying? Okay, I'm not gonna buy any more animals for the moment, okay? Because I need to figure out why they are dying. It cost me a fortune just to keep them keep keep them happy. How are we doing here? Twenty-one more do 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 easy waste. Twenty-one days remaining, and let's see. Now it's raining, right? Let's see the soil humidity goes up. It doesn't seem to do anything. Yes, it does. Okay, so the soil humidity goes up when raining. It's like a real farm. It's like a, it's a real life, everybody. It's perfect. Spread it against weeds. It's pretty darn awesome. I need to figure out. The current couldn't find Hassie. Deliver that package. Okay, 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 okay. I'm thinking like what is causing us to auto sell the grass? Sell that. Sell the honey. Perfect. And that means I could go in and take a loan, right? If needed. No. Training in banking one. Okay, maybe we need to train banking one now. Yes, we do. Okay, so 14 days. Okay, gives access to loans up to 200,000 bucks. That's going to be a godsend because look at our cash now. We just wasted all that cash. But at the end of the day, everybody, we have a beautiful farm set up here. And everything is kind of working out as intended. Besides selling the grass, which kind of sucked. And my animals die left and right. And I don't know how to stop it. I don't know how to prevent it. By the way, can I make, can I make this happen? Can I make one more parking lot here? Uh, no. You may, if we move that road, that would be possible. So we can maybe have two here on, on the on the on the thing. We will definitely see. Your animals are sick. Show no what? No, we call a vet. The mad cow disease is spreading, everybody. And maybe that's why they're dying. No, I just I just think what it is. Mainly what it is, I think it's the, the diet they've got. They basically just eat grass, and I mean, come on. Yeah, it's it's not pretty. It is what it is. Ten days is remaining until we can harvest that. Everybody, thank you so, so much for watching today's episode. Leave me tips and tricks and suggestions, I guess. Uh, well, maybe hard because this game is not out. But what should we do in the next one? Should we just expand the fields? I think we're going to go into the field business. Because the animals seem to be dying left and right, and I'm like... What is going on? Sell this. Sell that. I guess we're still making profit. But we're also expanding. Look at all the machinery we've just bought, okay? So, yeah, that's definitely need to stop. We can't just buy machines. Not in those masses. Hey, everybody, thank you so, so much once again for watching. I'm Kiralis, and I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of uh, Farm Manager 2018. Bye-bye.